All right, in today's video reference, we're going to take a step forward and we're going to look at absolute value uh, inequality. So in the last section, we were able to solve um, and get solutions for things that look like this. So the abs of absolute value of x equals 3. And so raise your hand and tell me what are the two solutions that would work there. Yeah, so it would be x is equal to 3 or x is equal to negative 3. Uh, so now let's think, what would the absolute value of x less than 3 look like? So we still, uh, well, first of all, we'll be open dot or closed dot in our solutions. Yeah, it'll be open. So we'll put a dot open at 3 and a dot open at negative 3. So let's just try throwing some numbers in there. So let's do like uh, 2. Absolute value of 2. Is that less than 3? Uh, yes, it is. So we know that's part of the solution. Uh, what about uh, negative 2? Is that less than 3? The absolute value of negative 2, is that less than 3? Yes. What about, uh, what if we did negative 5? Absolute value of negative 5, is that less than 3? Uh, the answer here is no. So basically, uh, as you can tell, and if I did 0, absolute value less than 3, the answer is yes. So it's going to give you a barbell. All these answers will be part of your solutions, while on everything on the outside uh, will not be. So we can kind of write that as a blanket statement. Whenever you have uh, less than, gives you bar bell. Okay, so it's either less than or less than or equal to. So now let's take a look at uh, a greater than inequality symbol. So same thing, we'll uh, open dot or closed, definitely be open here, open here. Okay, so uh, let's think of some things that would, we can give me, maybe let's try something that maybe wouldn't work. Is two absolute value of two greater than three? Uh, no. How about uh, absolute value of five? Is that greater than three? Uh, yes. So now we can do, this is part of the solution. Uh, what about, uh, let's see, negative two absolute value, is that greater than three? No, so that's not part of it. Uh, maybe let's try negative six. Is absolute value of negative six greater than three? Uh, yes. So this is part of the solution. So now you can kind of see all these numbers out here will be part of the solution set and all these numbers out here be part of the solution set. So now we can say if you have a greater than symbol, whether that be greater than or greater than or equals to, it's going to give you a split. So um, if we go to graph this one, example one, uh, so this is where we'll end part one of the video. So here, um, let's make it a little different. Let's make it greater than or equal to 6. So absolute value of b is greater than or equal to 6. Put closed dots at negative 6 and positive 6. It's greater than or equal to 6. So will that give you a split or a barbell? Yeah, it will give you a split because it's all these solutions plus all the negative versions of those solutions because... In the end, they get you back to positive. So we'll, uh, in just a second, we'll look at uh, solving these with more than one step.